I need help immediately. Please do something. The Owl House is a really good show with great characters, great plots, great dialogue, and great artwork. But fuck that shit, there are lesbians in this show. I know that's a bad way to introduce a show, but you clicked on my video so you can't swallow my rules. Well then, if that's settled, may I have this dance? Oh, they're gonna find some way to ruin this, aren't they? When the episode titles for the rest of the season were released, this episode specifically was speculated on developing Lucy and Amity's relationship. And while I'm just as eager for their relationship to be more than friends, I also don't want to jump to conclusions. But let's be real, boys and girls. This shit's happening. Now, as excited as I am to see these two close friends become lovers, I've also been down this road before, and I've also seen these budding lover stories sink harder than the fucking Titanic, so I'm always skeptical whenever a possible ship is established and try to see it in an unbiased lens. So instead of keeping it short and sweet, I'm gonna make a really long and drawn out list about why- Please don't have them get together at the end of the show. I know it's a little bit early to make that assumption, but seeing as how a lot of similar cartoons hopped on this trend, this is is definitely a possibility that shouldn't be taken off the table. Essentially, it creates a will they won't they plotline in order to keep the fans watching, and that's a really scummy way of retaining viewers as the writers are just tantalizing the fans with the ship they know the fans want to happen. And if a fan love ship is actually pre written and pre planned into the show's canon, why not respectfully write in the two characters getting together early on? Especially if the show is like the Owl House where it's in an episodic format and episodes really don't run into each other. Not only would this solve a problem that wouldn't need to be dealt with in the future, think of all the dynamic episodes that can come from Lucy and Amity already being in a romantic relationship. Maybe a first date episode. How about an episode where Lucy defends Amity from the Hexide students since she's getting flack for hanging around with the nerdy kids too much? Even on an actual high school, no one gives a shit. Or a birthday episode where Amity prepares a big surprise party for Luce. This can add depth to both their relationship and the characters separately. And you can't get that if it's drawn out to the end of the series. Now, as much as I'm gushing about how good this ship could be, the writers are on a good path when it comes to handling the show. So I don't want them to do something drastic, like appealing to fan service. The show at the moment is not at its peak. It's gaining popularity at a steady rate, but it's on course to become one of the most popular shows of the 2020s. With popularity comes fans, and with fans comes speculation, and theories, and shipping, and porn. <laughs> The connection between the author and the audience has never been closer thanks to the internet, so it's a near certainty that Dana Terrace and her crew have seen the ships the fandom has been pushing. All I'm saying is, I hope the crew doesn't listen to them. A good show probably already has a season spanning storyline planned out, and the writers of that good show have good reasons on why a specific event should or shouldn't happen. If the Owl House crew actually has Luz and Amity getting together as canon, then they should respectfully incorporate this into the second season, as I explained in the previous section. But if it isn't, I hope the writers still go along with their initial plan and don't let the fandom influence them. I have enough confidence in these writers to believe that they would write a good reason on why they wouldn't be together if it were to happen. And I just realized I could be part of the fandom problem with this video mainly being speculation and it's too early to make any accurate assumptions. But that's the reason why it's called Lumity before the storm, which leads perfectly into the final section, a final message to the fans. Yes, you. Or not you, if you're not a fan of the Owl House, in which case, why are you here? Hey, take a seat. FBI! Don't worry, I won't be long, unless you've watched from the beginning, in which case you've been here the entire time, but that's besides the point. Look at you. You're looking good. Or not. I don't fucking know. I know you. You're an Owl House fan been following it ever since its announcement in 2019. Some would even call you a diehard fan. You're on all the Tumblr boards, all the Discord servers, make fan art of the characters. You even cosplay every now and then. If the Owl House was a person, you'd take them, suck them off, make them come, and then suck them off even more. You've been happy at the quality of the show so far, and while quarantine may not be the best of times, at least you have a new favorite cartoon you can spend all your free time on. And then, one day, when you're re-watching the same fucking episode for the 3 millionth time, you see these two characters. 
interacting in a very special way. So you get this feeling. What is this feeling? Oh yeah, it's big lesbian energy. So you think that these two characters should be in a romantic relationship. No, scratch that. You know in your heart of hearts that they will canonically get together in the show. But I'm here to tell you you should prioritize and none of that shit. You got interested in the Owl House because you wanted to watch a senile old lady, voiced by an even more senile old lady, interact with a young girl who has main character hyperactivity syndrome. As they go on wacky adventures across the island. Not a specific character relationship. I'm not saying you should abandon your loving of the two characters. Rather, care more about the quality of the show that you love. Understand that the two characters being together is supplementary material to the most important part of a show. The story. Be an Owl House fan first, and a Lumity fan second. Anyway, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Making my way through the hood, sipping this yak. So, okay, so in this video, I was gushing over a possible lesbian relationship. And I just realized now that this is a really bad time to coincide with the kind of rainbowification of my channel so i'm here to say with 100 percent confidence that my sexuality is 100 percent nigga have a nice day <laughs>